Well, hello, welcome to my studio. This is Miriam Schulman, and I am doing this video as part of a special guest blog post courtesy of Julie Faith Van Balzar. So I wanted to give a big shout out to her and thanking her for inviting me to her wonderful blog. I am a huge fan of hers and I'm also a mixed media and watercolor artist. So in this video I'm going to share with you three things. So I'm going to share with you the, how to do the spread. So that's number one. Number two, I am going to give us a hashtag. And finally, as a special thank you to Julie's readers, I've prepared a download just for you. So stay tuned till the very end to get that download. Now let's get started. All right, for the first step, I'm starting with white gesso and I'm using a sponge to put it on. My sponge is a roller, but you can certainly just use a sponge on a stick or anything else. I like using this over a paintbrush because the paintbrush is going to seep into the cracks of the bubble wrap and you really just want it to hit the tops of those circles so that when you use it, I'm going to use the bubble wrap as a stamp and I don't want extra paint in between the circles. So this just makes it a lot easier. For the next step, I'm going to use some Golden's Fluid Acrylics plus glazing medium and I'm going to mix up some glazes to add transparent layers on top of this art journal. And you can see this is already a page I didn't like. I made this art journal myself. It's a junk journal. All right, so my plan for this two-page spread is to divide it into 18 squares, which is going to be 18 days. In fact, I'll give you a hint. This is going to be a gratitude journal for 18 days. Next, I'm tracing a butterfly onto both sides of the spread just to give it a little ornamentation and a For the next part, I'm again using Golden's fluid acrylics, but this time black and white mixed with the glaze. My idea is I want to put a checkerboard pattern using those boxes, but I didn't want to use completely opaque white or black because I wanted to see through the layers. And even after I've painted it on, it's somewhat see-through, but I decided to make it more transparent by blotting with a paper towel. All right, for the next stage, I'm using one of Julie's stencils. It's new, it's really cute, and I'm just creating visual interest, and I'm gonna use it both as a regular stencil and then the flip side to do the other side to add detail to my squares. Now I'm adding this butterfly stamp I found in my stash with, with some orange ink I've never used before just to add a little more texture and details and all that fun stuff. Finally, I'm using Julie's Days of the Week stamps and starting with today, I'm going to alternate, uh, well, it depends on what's underneath. I'm going to either do black or white stamps for each day. This is going to be a gratitude journal. So every day I'm going to write something that I'm grateful for. So having this pretty spread is going to keep me inspired to stick with it. And I hope you're going to join me. So if you're going to post pictures on Twitter or Instagram, you can use the hashtag 18 days of gratitude and then I'll try to find you and see your work. So I hope you have fun doing this. I'd love to see what you've done and thanks so much for joining me. So for today, I am grateful that I had this opportunity to share these art techniques with you. Thanks so much for joining me. Oh, and I almost forgot. I have a special download just for you right below the video, either in the blog or on YouTube. Click on the link and you can get a free download, 10 more art journal prompts for you. So if you like this, I have nine more really inspiring prompts so that you never run out of ideas. Well, at least for 10 more days, you won't run out of ideas for your art journal. Thanks so much for joining me. And if you like, you can subscribe to other YouTube videos of mine. Take care.